What is up guys, so just before I start off the video, when you actually make an account on this server, make sure you use the code SOHAN, and what this will get you is a guaranteed free 1 mil on Old School RuneScape, so yeah, you can only use this once, and it is only valid for the first 300 people, so if you haven't already, then click on the link in the description below, get registered on this server for a free 1 mil on Old School, like, everyone gets it, and it is guaranteed, so it's really easy to do, and as well as this, you get a bunch of free items on the server as well to get yourself started off, so yeah, it's definitely worth doing. So yeah, here are all the items that you can actually get from this, so you can see you get loads of really cool stuff to start off like blood money loads of pk gear and yeah in general it's just really easy to start off on the server so definitely make sure to use my referral code but yeah anyway guys just before i start the video like these grand chests are actually worth 80 dollars each so 10 of these is 800 dollars so the first person to comment on this video will actually receive two of these so that's 160 dollars just for being the first to comment so yeah congrats to whoever won that but for the other eight i'll be giving them to two different winners so four each so to enter that all you have to do is just like the video comment your own game name on ethereum and subscribe to my channel with post notifications on so you don't miss my next upload so yeah that's pretty much all you have to do to enter so good luck on that but anyway let's get into the video so yeah anyways as you can see we have loads of boxes to open and all of these are worth up to $25,000 each so yeah we're gonna be getting a lot of money from these and honestly I cannot wait to open all of these boxes up but before that first I want to show off a few really cool things about the server so the first really cool thing is the adventurers path so there's loads of stuff you can do on here and it was actually a recent update as well and just for performing 10 hours of game activity for so doing anything for 10 hours you get 2 mil on old school pretty much so you get 2 OSRS tokens and yeah, you can actually buy these in game as well for like around 500 mil each, I'm pretty sure. So, just for playing the server for 10 hours, you get a free 2 mil on old school, which you can either cash in to get 2 mil on old school, or you can sell it on here for around 500 mil each. So, yeah, just by playing the server, you're basically making money. So, it's definitely worth doing. And there's a loads of other stuff you can do as well to win some cash in game. Really easy stuff, just like voting or staying online. And yeah, simple stuff like that. And yeah, after you get it, it resets so you can get it as many times as you want just by playing the server. So, yeah, it's really cool. Like, they're willing to help out their players by giving them old school GP. And another cool thing they do is they host drop parties every single weekend which have hundreds of players in them so they guarantee to drop at least five old school tokens along with two grand chests which are worth $80 each I said them earlier. Yeah you can see here what exactly is being dropped and you can donate to the drop party yourself so you can see by Ethereum they're dropping loads of stuff including the five more old school tokens and there's loads of other things that people have donated so you can see there's three days remaining until the next drop party and yeah you also get points from the drop party which you can spend in this shop over here so loads of really cool stuff you can buy in here. For just 5,000 party points you can actually buy like the icon Boxing gloves which cost 30k so you can save up for those as well. But yeah, that's another really cool thing that they do on this server. They also have a fully working player owned shops and you can just search for any items that you want. So for example, say you wanted those RSRS tokens. Like if you were rich on the server and you wanted to cash out to old school, you know, you could just buy loads of these and just exchange them for old school. So someone's literally selling 100 mil on old school for 630 mil each. So but yeah, you can also sell them really easily, um, any items that you have. And voting gives a lot of rewards on the server. Like there's a 5% chance of getting one more old school every time you vote. So if you go like 20 times, and I'm pretty sure you can vote once every 12 hours or something. So over the course of 10 days, you may get one more old school just for voting. And also you can get Squeal of Fortune tickets. So you can see that in this taskbar over here. And you can get those from voting. <laughs> and you can get stuff like one more old school token from here. And a Twisted Bow. So yeah, that's really cool. These weapon boxes that I'm going to be opening in a bit, you can actually get them really easily. So you get them from this shop over here by Edgeville, um, Trade Arian. And as you can see, you can buy the weapon boxes for 50k participation points. And you pretty much get these points automatically automatically for most activities so yeah, like just by like not doing that much you can get loads of points and you can buy yourself some weapon boxes as well as loads of other stuff like bonus xp lamps and other really cool things in this store but yeah anyway that's enough about that let's start opening some boxes so yeah if you type p chests in game you can actually see um all the loot you can actually get from these boxes so these are the bronze ones and you can see like that they all have the same drop table but for certain tiers there's a higher chance so you can see like bronze is zero even if you're an extreme donated it's also zero so there's actually tier seven unlocked if you go to gold and grand chests and you can see like the odds of hitting this drop table are so low but the tier six one is a lot higher so that's 10 percent with extreme donor rank which i'm pretty sure i have whereas this one is literally zero percent so you can see the rules definitely scale up as you go to the higher chest and yeah you're guaranteed at least a tier 4 when opening these boxes and instead of just getting like one item you actually get a full set so like you could land on this and get a Torva set steeds and a chaotic rapier so yeah these chests are actually really overpowered but yeah anyway let's start opening them so i'm just gonna grab 150 of these and yeah they do stack up so really easy to open full bandos and bandos boots so <laughs> like i like how you get a full set so it's really easy to sell you're not just stuck with like one item but yeah you can also spam these as well all right yeah these chests are really op <laughs> oh my god look how much you just got there but yeah, like, even if your inventory's full, oh, donate a ticket, nice. It literally just goes straight to your collection box. So yeah, I can just spam these and... 
like, I'm just gonna open all 150 of these and they'll all just be waiting for me in my collection box. So yeah, that's actually really cool about the server. You don't have to waste time just slowly opening boxes. You can just do them as quickly as you want, as many as you want. So I know some other servers like just to open like 100 boxes, it can take so much time. Like, although it can be a bit more exciting, like it'd be nice to be able to open them quickly if you wanted, which this server offers. So really happy about that, but yeah. Now you can click collect and you can actually see all the rewards that you got from those boxes. So yeah, they're all nicely added up here. And yeah, they should just go straight to my bank. All right, yeah, so judging from the drop table, we hit the tier four quite a lot. Like we got loads of Herdic sets, loads of Versus sets, and we even got an Infernal Pickaxe, which I'm pretty sure is like really rare. We got quite a few steeds. We even got a Ganodermic set, which is definitely the tier four. We got a Divine Spirit Shield, which is meant to be like really rare as well. Loads of Chaotix, loads of Armadillos. So, so far looking really good. Can't wait to see what we get from this Silver Chest now. It's gonna be even better rewards, so yeah, let's go. All right, let's start opening them up. Bonus XP lamp, I'll take that. And yeah, it also comes up like in Yell, so if someone else opens a chest in game, you can actually like click on it to see what they got as well. So normally people wouldn't have anywhere near this many chests, so it wouldn't be spammed this often, but I've just been given some to show off for a video, so I don't get to keep any of the loot, but still, being able to see all the loot you can get from these is really cool. All right, that's a lot of whips right there. Oh, we got a Ganodermic set. All right, that is rare, I know that for a fact. Oh, a Torva set. <laughs> let's go. All right, I'm just gonna spam click these now if we get anything good oh i saw a blood necklace i'm pretty sure that's rare panic set <laughs> we're getting such good rules all right i'm just gonna spam click the shit out of these this must be like spam so hard in yell i saw a ganodermic set in there somewhere <laughs> these guys can already see all my rewards <laughs> oh i saw a vine whip all right those are actually pretty rare and they're worth a lot of money in game another torva set right there another vine whip let's go all right only like a few left now and all right not bad all right so so far from the 150 bronze and silver chest this is all the loot that we got so i sort of managed to arrange my inventory so yeah Tora definitely seems a lot rarer than the Pernix and Versus sets we've only got two sets we've got like 17 and 18 Pernix and Versus sets but yeah we've got loads of other stuff as well loads of God Wars pieces loads of Chaotix we've got Infernal Harpoons, Pickaxes and Axes as well <laughs> so many Armadillo God Swords Three Divines, loads of Void, Dragon, and yeah, we got a Red Boater, 10 donated tickets. We even got two 75k premium tickets. I'm pretty sure that these give you premium points, yep. So I'll just keep them back for now. Loads of Org Bones, there's so much per XP, and so many bonus lamps as well. Wow, this loot is actually insane. But yeah, now we're about to move on to the gold chest, so we're going to be getting even better rewards from these. So yeah, let's see how we do. All right, first chest, final whip already. Oh my god. All right. Here it goes, boys. Rainbow Scarf, I'll take that. I really want, like, the gold dragon. Like, oh, we got a Dragon Hunter crossbow. Let's go. Oh, my God. That is so rare. Yeah, Dragon Hunter crossbow. That's a tier 5 reward right there, guys. The Zarek bow, Dragon Hunter crossbow, and the Armada crossbow as well. So, yeah, that's our first tier 5 reward, I'm pretty sure. This is what I'm looking for. Dragon Full Helm, and also, like, any primal piece as well. These are worth so much money. Ancestral, and an extreme ticket. Imagine if you get one of those. I cannot wait to see what rules we get from these all right torva set i'll take that all right i'm just gonna spam click these now see if we get anything good i'm pretty sure we just got a full of oh we got an elder mall let's go i'm definitely saw one of those in there all right divine spirit shield i saw that another dragon hunter crossbow we seem to get like loads of rainbow scars maybe we should like wear some of this gear for extra luck because as long as it does look really cool all right i haven't seen any gold dragon though which is slightly unfortunate so another blood necklace in there though somewhere all right it's so nice being able to spam click these in the mall just going straight to your bank like that's actually so convenient oh another 75k premium ticket all right nice only a few boxes left let's slow it down a bit see if we get anything good <laughs> another ganodonic set and an abyssal vine whip holy shit Right, now for our last gold chest, a pair of dragon claws, and some boots. Right, nice. After opening all of those gold chests, like, our bank is just going up so much in value. It's actually insane. And we haven't even got to the grand chest or all this other stuff yet, so this is actually insane. We have so many bonus lamps. We have six Ganodermic sets. We even got an Elder Maul, two Dragon Hunter crossbows, and even an inverted Santa hat. Like, an inverted Santa hat is so rare. That's a tier six drop right there. <laughs> I'm actually so happy we actually got one of those. That is some insane luck right there, but yeah. It does look really cool as well, like, just take a look at that. You know this guy's rich if you're wearing one of those. Oh, that looks so good, but two Dragon Hunter crossbows as well, as long with an Elder Maul, which is also very rare, so really happy with the loot that we got so far, but now onto the big boy chest, the grand chest. Oh my god, cannot wait to see what I get from these, so yeah, I'm gonna leave 10 in the bank since that's for the giveaway, and yeah. Oh, let's see what we get from these, cannot wait. Oh my god, a 75k premium ticket already. Ganodermic set. Boys, these rewards are insane, a spiritual set, back-to-back, -back, vine whips, like every- Oh my god, we just got full roll D-hide. 
How are these chests so good? Oh my god, each one of these is worth $80 as well, and you can just tell that they're worth it. Like, look at all those rewards that we're getting. Jesus Christ. I don't want to spam open them because they're just so good. Pegasian boots, that's our first one of those, I'm pretty sure. Jeez, another tour of a set. This bittersweet heat is suffocating. All right, guys, so we got so much loot after opening all of those grand chests. And we still have another 10 left in the bank, which I'm really tempted to open. But got to be giving them away for you guys so you can get some good loot as well. But yeah, we actually hit the tier 6 drop table so many times. We got an imbued heart, antlers, dins, bulwark, a royal d-head set. We got another inverted Santa hat, some royal crossbows, bonus XP lamps. We got two pairs of Pegasians and primordial boots. So primordials are worth 6 bill. Holy shit. Elden was like four bills, so yeah, you can actually examine any item to find their price, which is another really cool feature about this server, but coloured party at this actually looks amazing. So you can actually customise this, whatever colour you want, so let's say you want it like pink or something, just click confirm and it changes to pink. Oh, that kind of looks purple. Alright, yeah, that's a bit more pink, but yeah, that's such a cool thing. You can actually customise it to any colour on the colour spectrum that you want, so oh, that's so cool. Alright, now we're going to move on to the brawler's chest, so oh, you need eight free inventory slots to open these. <laughs> these better be good then. Oh, so you actually get loads of different brawling gloves, so you can actually use these to train your skilling, so you can see that one's for agility, woodcutting, fishing, smithing, thieving, etc. So yeah, they're really OP for skilling. I probably will just fast forward this though. Alright, so that's all the brawling gloves open and yeah, we just got a shit ton of brawling gloves pretty much. So yeah, for each of the skills you can see, but yeah, now let's open the weapon boxes up. These should be interesting. So as the name says, they probably give a lot of weapons. Alright, Zamrock caster. Oh, we got Primal Longsword. Oh my god. No way. Primal is actually so rare. I cannot believe we just got one of those. Holy shit. <laughs> Primal Longsword second box. Yeah, I know, right? Oh my god. That is actually insane. Primal weapons are meant to be, oh my god, a primal rapier. Primal weapons are so rare, guys. This is actually nuts. What the hell? Like, you can see here, primal rapier is like tier 7 on this. Oh my god. How much does this go for? 4.2 bill. Holy shit. We're getting so lucky on these rewards. Let's even get another Primal weapon. We're getting loads of Chaotix to be honest, but Primal is the one that we're looking for. Oh, a Bandos whip. Interesting. All right, CCA box is left. So yeah, these actually gave me a tier 7 item, even when those grand chests didn't. So yeah, these are pretty OP. And yeah, you can get them really easily uh, for, from just participation points. So imagine just buying one of those and then getting a Primal Rapier from it. Oh my god. Like, we only opened 150 as well. That's not that many. Dragon Warhammer. Nice. So, and from the last one, Zamrock Spear. So, overall, some pretty decent loot. We got loads more whips, but they're all over here already. But yeah, the highlights are definitely the Primal Rapier along with the Primal Longsword. That is actually insane. All right, now we're actually going to be opening some caskets that you get from Clue Scrolls. So you can see we have Easy, Medium, Hard, and even Elite. And we have some uh, Clue Scrolls in the bank. So yeah, let's just take a look at these. So you can see like, they're pretty simple to do such tests in Alcarid. Think in the middle and equip a Sapphire Necklace, Cave of Legend, and Oak Shortwood Bow. You can but pretty much buy all that stuff from the player and shop. So don't need to worry too much about it, but... Yeah, let's open up the caskets. Oh, we got an ancient page, but yeah, you can actually reroll clue scroll rewards if you have them as a vote streak reward, so that's another really cool thing. Alright, so I got rid of all the junk rewards, but this is all we got from 100 easy clues. So we got some heraldic pieces, loads of pages, we even got black kite shield trimmed, four black canes, some berets, some saradem and gothic saras, and we even got a wizard robe G, which I'm pretty sure is fairly rare. So yeah, that's pretty nice to get, but let's move on to the medium ones now. <laughs> Maybe we'll get some ranger boots. Alright, so again, I got rid of all the junk, but this is the total of what we got from 100 easy and medium caskets. So we actually got three complete sets of pages. We got two Zamrock, two Gothics, and three Bandos. So almost done on those. Pretty much a full trimmed adamant as well, and loads of other really cool stuff. We got some boaters, we got some trimmed green kite shields, some strength ammies. We've even got <laughs> seven pairs of ranger boots. And there's actually different color versions as well, which I find pretty cool. We got some trimmed whizzy, loads of prayer stuff as well. So overall, not bad loot, but yeah, can't wait to open the hard ones. Maybe we'll get like third age or something now, which would be pretty cool. Oh 
Holy shit, pause the fucking speed up. We got a third age cloak. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I cannot actually believe we just got one of those. These are so rare. We don't even have the prayer level to wield it. No, but oh my god, this is so much money. Holy shit, we actually got a third age cloak. Oh my god, boys. I cannot believe we actually just got one of those. But yeah, let's keep going. Holy shit. Alright guys, I was actually, I actually got so much luckier than I expected. We got three pieces of third age. We got a third age mage hat, third age range top, and a third age cloak as well. Along with three pieces of gilded. We even got a Robin Hood hat as well. We got one of those, so those are also pretty rare. And loads of other cool cosmetic stuff. Oh, forgot to drop those rune long swords, but... Yeah, we actually got loads of really good alcohols, which would probably be a decent amount of money, but I just dropped them because, like, you know, they're not rare, but still, like, even just opening them just to even get, like, standard loot, there's still, like, a few good mills in alks, so. Yeah, these caskets are really good. <laughs> now, finally, onto the elite one. Can't wait to see what these give. I'm really excited. <laughs> Alright guys, that is all the elite caskets done, and <laughs> we, we got so many pieces of third age druidic, which is the rarest thing you can get from this, so our luck is actually insane, it's actually ridiculous, but we got the staff, we got the top, and the third age cloak as well, so yeah, really lucky, and we got loads of scaling supplies actually, we got um, the bandless pages, so, okay, I think we just finished all the pages left. Oh, we know we need one more Zarok page, damn it. But we definitely finished the Gothics and the Bandos book. But yeah, we got so many Cs. Like, we got Gothics bows, Zamrock bows, which I'm pretty sure are fairly rare as well. We got a Dragon Ceremonial Breastplate. All right, that must be really rare. Yeah, so many rare rewards. And yeah, that third age cloak from the Hard Clues actually insane but yeah clue scrolls are definitely what's going on here as well and they're a lot of fun to do so yeah that was pretty fun all right so we also have some squeal of fortune tickets so i'm just going to redeem these quickly claim the tickets all right let's go all right i probably won't use all of these but i'm just going to do a few to see what sort of stuff we can get so you can even get a twisted bow along with the one mill score token but and there's also a cool animation when you use one and oh we were just too past and yeah instead of like redeeming the items you can actually just convert them into straight cash which is pretty cool so i can just do that and yeah we got 10 more cash right so yeah i just wanted to show it off i'm probably won't use all of them because that'll take a really long but yeah there's loads of really possible good rewards you can get from these but obviously they are a little rarer but there's still some other cool stuff in here so i just wanted to show off the vote shop really quickly there's a lot of cool stuff in here and it's all really cheap and there's even like different categories so seasonal but like a jester scarf so <laughs> i've got 200 vote points myself but yeah just by voting you can get all these really cool rewards you can even get a colored center which costs 1500 vote points so that's something to save up towards and there's loads of cool halloween mask anki sets and mummy sets as well so yeah that's pretty cool all right so we're actually gonna open some mystery boxes now so let's see what we can get from these i'm just gonna spam click them oh we got a stuff of light all right not bad so these boxes are really easy to get like you can just do tasks and get loads of them like you can see over here the different tasks you use so just for using the rune crafting altar teleport tab you get a mystery box so there's so many tasks to do and they all give mystery boxes the harder ones give you more mystery boxes so pretty easy Oh my god, we got a blue party hat. No way. That is actually really rare. All right, I'll take it, I guess. Oh my god. Let's go, guys. We got a blue party hat. All right, let's keep going. Oh, we got a lucky band of squad sword. So I believe these only like last for like 30 hours in combat, I'm pretty sure. But that's still a lot of time. Um, I may have accidentally destroyed that god sword. Oh, well. Oh, we got a 5k premium ticket. Not bad. All right, let's keep going. Let's get another party hat. That's really nice. So yeah, all these lucky pieces only last for a certain amount of time. Another stuff of light. <laughs> lucky dragon claws as well. Oh, another another star of light so yeah these don't give the best rewards but since they're so easy to get like they're still pretty decent <laughs> like you can get party hats and stuff oh my god just as i say that i get a red party hat are you kidding me no way we actually got a red party hat oh my god that is actually crazy oh we got a light infinity hat all right we have like 43 boxes left so yeah you can see you get a lot of skilling supplies from these so they're really good for skilling if you're trying to like max out or something and you do get a fair bit of cash as well 83 mil so far all right 10 boxes left can we pull out anything else decent some void and some more of skilling supplies so yeah overall not bad so these boxes summon ingredients basically just give you loads of charms so just want to show those off and the rune chest gives you as you can guess a lot of runes and the barrow chest just give you barrow runes pretty much so yeah that's what all the chests do and i have some bloody keys as well along with some crystal keys but i'll probably open those in a later video so make sure to be subscribed with notifications on so you can see when my next video is so yeah anyway guys that's pretty much it for the video but the server is so active like you can just see already there's 276 people online and it's like midday on weekends they have 400 plus online and you can see why like 
like they reward their players so much and everyone wants their old school GP and yes yeah, so you can basically like earn so much money just by playing the game and it is really fun as well so yeah you're getting paid to have fun like what could go wrong like, so definitely come try out the server the link to it is in the description below and yeah like I said use my referral code you get a free two mil old school like even if you just join the server just for using my referral code and do nothing else you still get a free two mil old school so you might as well use my referral code and like I said only the first 300 people actually do get it so make sure you're quick so yeah the link to the server is in the description below make sure to click on that and also enter the giveaway for the grand chest since these are worth $80 each so yeah 10 of them are up for grabs that's $800 total so definitely make sure to enter that and thanks for watching the video guys make sure to join and hope you enjoyed